What if the daily snacks or meals are toxic? Most people never care about what they eat as long as it is delicious and acceptable to their taste, even if they are composed of dangerous toxins, which is why we provide a list of foods that contain toxic substances. However, unless ingested in large amounts or deliberately in high doses, toxic substances will not immediately make you dying. Side effects such as vomiting, nausea, and dizziness are common or most common situations when poisoning occurs. From kitchen items to famous delicacies from all over the world, there are many delicious but potentially deadly foods. See what you should pay attention to before taking a bite. Cashew Nuts Firstly, these are seeds, not nuts, so you've been misled all this time. Their shells are deadly and have a coating of anacardic acid, which can burn your skin if handled incorrectly, as well as give you a nastily upset stomach. Additionally, cashews must be cooked or steamed before consumption, as in their raw state they contain arushiol, a chemical which is also found in poison ivy and can be fatal if consumed in large enough amounts. So if you see cashews growing in the wild, don't pick or eat them. Peanuts Around 1% of the US population has a peanut allergy, making it one of the most common kinds of allergy. If you're seriously allergic and ingest a peanut in any form, including oil, or even inhale peanut proteins in the air, you become very ill. In the UK, Restaurant owner Mohamed Zaman was jailed for six years after a takeaway from his restaurant containing powdered nuts caused Paul Wilson, 38, to suffer a severe anaphylactic shock and die in January 2014. Bagels While they're clearly not poisonous, otherwise you'd have to re-examine your position on all-you-can-eat brunches. The bready breakfast staple is one of the most common causes of knife injuries in the kitchen. Imagine, you're slicing the bagel, knife in one hand, bagel in the other, and your knife slips sideways. In 2011, around 2,000 Americans went to hospital with bagel-related injuries. Mushrooms Some fungi are anything but fun. With names like the Death Cap and Destroying Angel, these mushrooms aren't messing around. As a rule, if you aren't 100% sure of what you're eating, especially if you've picked something yourself, don't risk it. Deadly mushrooms often look uncannily like edible ones, and even experts can find it hard to tell the difference. Author Nicholas Evans and his family nearly died of liver failure after picking the deadly webcap variety. In the US, 14 people were poisoned in San Francisco after eating death cap mushrooms, three needed a liver transplant, including an 18-a-month-old baby. Kidney beans Kidney beans contain high levels of phytohemagglutinin, making them toxic. Cooking the beans thoroughly gets rid of the poison, but eating even a few undercooked beans can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The US FDA advised boiling for 30 minutes to completely break down the toxin. Canned kidney beans are pre-cooked and completed safe to eat from the tin, so put these in your chili if you're of a nervous disposition. Rhubarb This British fruit is a criminally underappreciated delicacy. It's great in crumbles, cobblers and even when pickled, and lends a sharp, mouth-puckering taste to many classic British dishes. However, the leaves of the plant are deadly. They contain oxalic acid, which causes burning in the mouth and throat, breathing difficulties, coma and death. You'd have to eat around 5 kilograms of the leaves for them to kill you. Nutmeg This Christmassy spice, which adds its delicate flavor to custards, bechamel and rice pudding, is a hallucinogenic if eaten in large enough quantities. It can cause convulsions, 
palpitations and nausea, not to mention visual distortions and a sense of paranoia. Maybe steer clear of having that tenth glass of eggnog, as it takes only around 2-3 to three teaspoons of the ground spice to have an effect. It's also highly toxic to dogs. Cherry Stones Tinker, Tailor, Soldier, Spy, or Die, if you bite into too many cherry stones, or apricot, plum or peach pits. They contain hydrogen cyanide, which is so poisonous that a mere 0.1 grams has the potential to kill a 10 stone, 150 pound, person. As a cherry pit contains around 0.17 grams of cyanide, ingesting just one or two crushed stones could kill you. The amount of cyanide per cherry stone varies, so a lethal dose could be higher than just one stone, but why take the risk? Fugu, pufferfish. Fugu is a Japanese delicacy, but it can be truly deadly. The pufferfish is more poisonous than cyanide and can cause a fast, violent death. There is no antidote. The liver, ovaries, and skin of the fish contain the poison tetrodotoxin, which affects a human's nerve system. Chefs that work with fugu must train for at least two years and have a special license, but many deaths occur when amateurs try to prepare the fish for consumption themselves. Potatoes Don't eat green potatoes. The green parts contains a poison called solanine, which can cause serious illness if eaten in large quantities. The leaves, stem, and sprouts of the potato plant contain glycoalkaloids, found throughout the nightshade family, a flowering plant category. So just be careful when you're making wedges, guys. Sinachi This is a traditional Korean dish of raw octopus that's meant to be eaten while it's still squirming. The chef kills the octopus, and it's chopped into bit-sized pieces and served with sesame seeds and soy sauce. Residual nerve activity in the tentacles means that it will still be wriggling on your plate, however, and the suckers of the octopus remain active and could attach themselves to your throat as you swallow. Food and Wine report that around 6 people die every year from eating the dish. Hot Dogs Issues with the dubious meat content found in cut price hot dogs aside, choking is a very real hazard when eating this American classic. Johns Hopkins University reported that hot dogs are the number one cause of choking related injuries in children under three. Chew slowly and cut them into bite sized pieces before serving.